or not to stay? That is the question a lot of Palm Beach County teachers, administrators, and staffers are asking when it comes to the district superintendent, Art Johnson. News Channel 5's Roe Norman spoke to education advocates and parents about the potential shift of power. Palm Beach County is home to the 11th largest school system in the nation, making its superintendent, Dr. Art Johnson, one of the area's most influential people. He's the CEO of 22,000 people. That's bigger than most corporations. Monday night, a group of nearly 100 of the district's principals met at Palm Beach Central High School to discuss Johnson's future employment. Tom Watley, an education advocate, says the meeting was organized by Johnson. He has hired just about all of those principals in their position. So one probably while he's still employed, you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you and be too much of a critic. Uh, and they haven't been. They've been a supporter. Johnson is accused of allegedly covering up for a former administrator who was doing outside consulting while still on the district's payroll. The teachers work hard for little pay. They pay, they're, they're buying supplies out of their own money. And they, they know what's going on. They're smart. I don't think that people give them enough credit. And it's time. It's time for new leadership there. The Palm Beach County School Board is scheduled to vote Wednesday on whether or not to relieve Johnson of his duties. You're innocent until proven guilty in, in the United States. So until they prove him that he did do it, then that's when I would, I would be concerned about it and he should step down. Watley believes if Johnson were to resign, the best scenario is for him to assist with the new superintendent search. It's going to be a marathon tomorrow. Uh, you guys might want to bring a sleeping bag. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. There will be a special school board meeting tomorrow to discuss proposal options to end Art Johnson's work contract. The meeting starts at 3 p.m. and will take place at the school board district offices. Ro Norman, WPTV News Channel 5. Ro, thank you.